I see this light shape coming towards me, pointed snout, sleek body, more streamlined than a grouper. A seven foot bull shark. It comes in between Tom and I and circles back behind my head. This is in a good situation. A lot of people get bitten by sharks in exactly these circumstances. And it's circling us, swimming around us. It's obviously cued in on that bait as well. We need to get out of this situation. We move down to a crack in the wreck where we'll be less vulnerable to the bull shark. But the crack in the wreck is where all the grouper are sitting. And the grouper are also behaving differently because we have this fish. And the grouper are being much more aggressive, moving more quickly, obviously interested in this fish that we have. I pick up the fish, hold it out, and in an instant, a grouper comes in, grabs the whole head of the fish, of this jack, in its mouth, pulls it from me, and swims away. We can still see the bull shark patrolling around the wreck. So we need to get back up to the surface as quickly as we can. And so it's clear that introducing food into the equation, it triggers that grouper feeding behavior. So now I can see that video in a different way. When that grouper, when it looks like it's attacking the diver, it's actually just going after the food that that diver has. And that's a clue that these grouper may not be the monsters that some people make them out to be. They're not searching out big prey or treating humans as food. They're detecting small or injured fish using their lateral line, like most other fish species. 